Hi friends, welcome to my channel Interesting Engineering. In our video today, we shall discuss about calibration of watt meter. First, let's know what is meant by calibration. Calibration is the process of checking the accuracy of any instrument by comparing it with the standard instrument. So, before making use of any instrument, we should check its accuracy. So, for checking its accuracy and correcting uh, the deviation of any instrument is more important before making use of that instrument for our application purpose. So, a watt meter. A watt meter is nothing but an instrument to measure power. So, this instrument consists of current coil and pressure coil and the current coil is connected across the load and pressure coil is connected across the supply voltage. So, the current coil will be carrying the load current. So, by means of the indication shown in its uh, uh, point and scale arrangement, we can able to measure power using this watt meter. So, uh, normally we can able to calculate power using the equation P is equal to Vi and power is measured in terms of watts. So, the, these are all some of the fundamentals that we all know regarding this watt meter. So, now we shall discuss about how to calibrate a watt meter. So, in calibrating a watt meter, we have two methods available. One is the direct loading method and the other one is the phantom loading method. So, first we shall see about uh, direct loading method of calibration of watt meter. So, this is the circuit arrangement for uh, calibrating a watt meter using direct loading method where we are going to connect a load across the watt meter based on the uh, uh, power rating of the watt meter. So, uh, based on the rating of the watt meter, we connect a variable load here. So, this variable load will be carrying the current. Uh, uh, it will be consuming some amount of supply that we provide for this watt meter. So, here by means of uh, connecting a standard resistor, the amount of current entering into the circuit is being measured at, uh, using a potentiometer over here and the uh, voltage drop across this load is also being measured using a potentiometer arrangement. So, for uh, as we all know, for calibrating any instrument, we can go for a potentiometer. So, here too, we are making use of a potentiometer and uh, by means of this potentiometer arrangement, we are uh, finding out the value of current drawn by this um, uh, watt meter instrument as well as the voltage drop across this load. So, uh, by uh, we know the formula, the equation for calculating the power. So, that is, so P is equal to V into I. So, here if we know the value of voltage drop across the load and current drawn by the load, we can able to measure the power. So, this calculated value is nothing but the true value of power in this circuit. And when we uh, and, the, and the indication of this watt meter will be the measured value. So, uh, by comparing the true value of power using the equation P equal to Vi and the measured value of power, we can able to find out whether there is a deviation or not. Suppose if there is a deviation, we need to correct it. That is, uh, is it clear? For measuring, for calibrating a watt meter, we are going to compare the, uh, the reading of this watt meter instrument with the true value. So, the true value is uh, being achieved by means of the equation P is equal to Vi. So, to have V and I value, we make use of a potentiometer here. So, the uh, uh, a standard resistor is connected uh, uh, over this supply voltage. So, uh, uh, by means of this standard resistor, the voltage drop across this standard resistor divided by this, uh, the divided by the value of this standard resistor will give you the value of current. So, that is we can even write it as I is equal to Vs by S. So, this is the 
current through the circuit and the voltage voltage drop across this load we can obtain by means of this volt ratio box so here we are able to find out using a potentiometer the potentiometer output will be some uh, multiplica uh, multiplication factor k into this v value vs value so that will be the uh, voltage across this load so we can able to calculate power using the equation p is equal to v into i so v is nothing but k into v s and i is nothing but v s divided by s so by using this equation we can able to obtain the true power value and by uh, by observing the value of this watt meter output that we can uh, have it as a measured watt meter reading so uh, by comparing this measured value with this true value we can able to achieve the uh, deviation suppose if there is uh, zero difference then it indicates that the watt meter is perfectly uh, correct instrument suppose if there is a uh, deviation either in the positive value or in the negative value we need to correct it so uh, by means of uh, certain measures such as by correcting the uh, scale reading or by correcting uh, uh, before making using uh, of this instrument for our measurement purpose so this is the method adopted uh, for calibrating a watt meter using direct load method so in this method we have certain drawbacks so here we need to connect a load based on the power rating of this watt meter so this load will be consuming some amount of power from this source provided for this circuit so there will be some sort of loading effect here so this watt meter when it has a lower power rating value then we can go for this kind of calibration suppose if this watt meter is a higher power rating uh, watt meter then uh, we can't go for this method since uh, the load here will be consuming more amount of power for higher power rating values and apart from that so when we have a higher power rating watt meter used here then at that case we need to go for higher values of load so uh, when we use higher values of load it, it will be consuming more amount of power as well as um, uh, in practical applications uh, we can't have a higher values of load being connected here so uh, for uh, be, because of these two reasons we go for another method of calibration called the phantom loading arrangement so let's discuss about the phantom loading arrangement so these are the two drawbacks of using this direct loading method so it can it can be used for calibrating only low power rating watt meters and then the uh, large values of load can uh, can't be practically used for a uh, measurement purpose then because of these two drawbacks we go for another method of calibration called the phantom loading method phantom loading is nothing but virtual loading so in the case of phantom loading arrangement we uh, provide a virtual load uh, so that um, uh, the power consumption will be reduced the loading effect will be reduced using this arrangement so let's discuss about this arrangement now so here the since the current coil ha low uh, have a low value of resistance we connect a, a separate voltage source um, to um, supply this current coil so a low voltage supply is being connected with the current coil of the uh, watt meter and adjustable rheostat and a standard resistor is being connected to this current coil side and here we in the uh, pressure coil side we connect a high voltage supply it's because the pressure coil will always be having higher value of resistance so we need to connect a high value of voltage source so uh, here too we need to find the value of power by making use of the equation 
P is equal to V into I. So, we need to find out V and I to find the true value of power. So, here the volt ratio box will be representing the amount of voltage uh, supplied to this potential coil. So, the voltage drop across this volt ratio box will be measured using a potentiometer and the current rating and the current value is also being measured using this standard resistor. The voltage drop across the standard resistor divided by the value of standard resistor will give the amount of current entering this arrangement. So, by means of current through at uh, this position and the uh, voltage at this position, we can able to calculate the true value of power and this uh, watt meter will be representing the measured value of power and by comparing the measured uh, power value with the true power value, we can able to find out whether there is a deviation or not. Suppose if there is a deviation, we need to correct it before making use of this watt meter for our measurement purpose. So, this is the uh, major advantage of using this phantom loading arrangement. So, by using a phantom loading arrangement, we can able to calibrate a uh, higher power rating watt meters also. So, here we have measure the true, uh, true value of power uh, at, this uh, at this point using P is equal to VI calculation and the measured value of power is obtained uh, on the point run scale arrangement of this watt meter. By comparing this measured value with the true value, we can able to find out the uh, deviation that is the error in this watt meter. So, if there is a zero error, the watt meter can be used for our application. If there is any sort of deviations either in the positive or negative value, then we have to correct it before making use of this instrument for our application purposes. So, uh, this is about the calibration method. So, calibration in general, it's nothing but checking the accuracy of any instrument before making use of that instrument for our application purposes. And in the calibration of watt meter, we go for two methods, either direct loading or phantom loading. In direct loading, we calibrate only low power rating watt meters. And in calibrating a higher power rating watt meter, we go for phantom loading arrangement, which is nothing but a virtual loading provided to the circuit for our calibration purpose. So, this is about calibration of watt meter. In our next video, we shall discuss about calibration of energy meter. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. And if, uh, for, uh, if, the, if you need any uh, notes for any topic, uh, please post it in, in the comment section and uh, let me uh, help you in. Uh, giving a detailed notes of any topic. Thank you.